Chicken Kiev, Ukrainian, Kotleta Po Kievsky, Kotleta Po Kievsky, Russian, Kotleta Po Kievsky, Kotleta Po Kievsky, literally, Cutlet Kiev style, is a dish made of chicken fillet pounded and rolled around cold butter, then coated with eggs and bread crumbs, and either fried or baked. In general, the dish of stuffed chicken breast is also known in Ukrainian, Russian, and Polish cuisines as kotlet devolail, Russian, kotleta devolage tr, kotleta devolye, Polish, kotlet devolail, from French, chicken cutlet. Since fillets are often referred to as supremes in professional cookery, the dish is also named supreme de volail a la Kiev. It is particularly popular in the post Soviet states, several other countries of the former Eastern Bloc, and in the English speaking world. History The history of this dish is not well documented, and various sources make controversial claims about its origin. Since the 18th century Russian chefs have adopted many techniques of French haute cuisine and combined them with the local culinary tradition. The adoption was furthered by the French chefs, such as Marie-Antoine Kermy and Urbain Dubois, who were hired by Russian gentry. In particular the use of quality meat cuts, such as various cutlets, steaks, escalopes and supremes became widespread in the 19th century, and a number of original dishes involving such cuts were developed in Russia at that time. Cotelet de volail The French term de volail means literally, of poultry, but denotes almost exclusively chicken dishes in French cookbooks. The name cotelet de volail means thus simply, Chicken cutlet. Despite the original French name, the Russian recipe is unknown in French cuisine, where the term cotelet de volail refers to chicken breasts in general and is used nearly synonymously with chicken fillet or supreme. The French term also denotes a minced chicken cutlet shaped patty. The general Russian term for chicken cutlets, kurinaya kotleta, karina kotleta, refers predominantly to minced cutlets, whereas kotleta de volai is applied exclusively to the stuffed chicken breast dish. The latter name appears in the pre- and post-revolutionary Russian literature, in cookbooks as well as in fiction, since the beginning of the 20th century and is usually mentioned as a common restaurant dish. The recipe in the classical Russian cookery textbook The Practical Fundamentals of the Cookery Art by Pelagia Alexandrova Ignatieva, which had 11 editions between 1899–1916, includes a complex stuffing similar to quenelle, a mixture of minced meat, in this case the rest meat of chicken, and cream, but with butter added. It also points out that, "...the cutlets de volail are made from whole chicken fillets, like the game cutlets a la marikale." The recipe is preceded by a similar one for, "...hazel grouse cutlets a la marikale," with a quenelle and truffle stuffing. Another Russian cookbook published at the same time gives basically identical recipes for cotelet de volail and cotelet a la marécale and notes that the only difference between them is that the former are made of chicken while the latter are made of game, such as hazel grouse, blackcock, etc. The term a la marécale, martial style, denotes in French cookery tender pieces of meat, such as cutlets, escalopes, sweetbreads, or chicken breasts, which are treated along with English style i.e. coated with eggs and breadcrumbs, and sautéed. Numerous recipes of such dishes, some of them with stuffings, are described both in Western and Russian cookbooks of the 19th century. Among the stuffed versions, one finds a recipe for a fowl filet à la maricale, stuffed with truffles and herbs in the art of French cuisine of the 19th century 1847 by Marie-Antoine Kermy, and a similar filet de poulets à la maricale with herbs and forcemeat in La Cuisine Classique 1868 by Urbain Dubois. Elena Molikovets A Gift to Young Housewives, the most successful Russian cookbook of the 19th century, has included since its first edition in 1861 an elaborate recipe for hazel grouse à la maricale stuffed with Madeira sauce, portobello mushrooms and truffles. Pozarsky cutlet The main difference between the old-time cutlet de volail and the modern chicken cutlet Kiev style is that the elaborate stuffings of the former are replaced by butter. The use of butter for chicken cutlets has been known in Russian cuisine at least since the invention of the Pozarsky cutlet in the first half of the 19th century. The Pozarsky cutlets are breaded ground chicken patties for which butter is added to minced meat. This results in an especially juicy and tender consistency. 
The dish was a widely appraised invention of 19th century Russian cuisine, which was also adopted by French haute cuisine and subsequently by the international cuisine. While the roots of chicken Kiev can thus be traced back to French haute cuisine and Russian cookery of the 19th century, the origin of the particular recipe known today as chicken Kiev remains disputed. Individual attributions The Russian Tea Room Cookbook notes that chicken Kiev was most likely, a creation of the great French chef Kermy at the court of Alexander I. Marie-Antoine Kermy spent just several months of the year 1818 in St. Petersburg, but made a profound impact on Russian cuisine at this short time. The reforms carried out by his followers introduced in particular various meat cuts into Russian cookery. The recipe of the Russian kotlet de volail is not present in Kerm's major work mentioned above, but his Fowl filet à la maréchale could have served as the starting point for the further development of such dishes. Some Russian sources attribute the creation of this dish or of its precursor to Nicolas Appert, French confectioner and chef, best known as the inventor of airtight food preservation. In contrast, common biographic sources for Appert do not mention this dish, and the origin of these claims is unclear. Novo Mikhailovsky cutlet. Russian food historian William Pokliovkin claimed that chicken Kiev was invented in 1912 as Novo Mikhailovskaya Kotleta in a St. Petersburg merchant's club located near the Mikhailovsky Palace, and was renamed Kotleta Po Kievsky in 1947 by a Soviet restaurant. However, these claims collide with primary sources. The cookbook by Alexandrova Ignatieva, including additions before and after 1912, describes indeed Novo Mikhailovsky cutlets and mentions that they were invented in the club near the Mikhailovsky Palace. However, in the provided recipe, these cutlets are made from minced meat similarly to the Pozarsky cutlet, with the only difference being the meat pounded by a tenderizer until it gets minced. This allows one to remove tendons from the meat and results in a more tender consistency of the ground meat than after the use of a grinder. The author also remarks that not only breasts but also other parts of chicken can be prepared this way and added to the mixture of meat and butter. The second claim of Pokliovkin's version is invalidated, as the references of chicken Kiev appeared in published sources much earlier, since the 1910s. Modern chicken Kiev Oral tradition in Kiev attributes the invention of the cutlet de volail Kiev style Kotleta de volier po Kievsky to the restaurant of the Continental Hotel in Kiev in the beginning of the 20th century. A luxury hotel built in 1897 in the center of Kiev, it was run until the Nazi German invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. The building was then mined by the retreating Red Army and exploded when the German army Wehrmacht occupied Kiev in September 1941. After the war, the building was rebuilt and has since then been used by the Kiev Conservatory. According to the memoirs of contemporaries, Chicken Kiev was the signature dish of the hotel's restaurant. An early reference of Kiev cutlets from chicken or veal is found in the Cookery Digest 1915, a collection of recipes which were published in the Moscow Journal for Housewives in 1913–1914. These were minced meat cutlets similar to the Pozarsky cutlets, but shaped like a croquette with a bar of cold butter placed in the middle. Like modern chicken Kiev, the croquettes were covered with eggs and breadcrumbs and fried, later, chicken cutlets Kiev style were listed in apportionments for dinners, separate dishes and other products of public catering 1928, which served as a standard reference for Soviet catering establishments. The book also included other items for chicken cutlets, such as "'Cutlet de Volail' and "'Cutlet à la Marécale". The book demanded renaming of many traditional restaurant dishes to replace the mostly French-style bourgeois names with simple proletarian forms. In particular, the "'Cutlet Kiev style' had to be renamed into "'Chicken Cutlet Stuffed with Butter'". This program was not realized immediately, at least not completely, and its successor, the Directory of Apportionments for Catering 1940, published by the Soviet Ministry of Food Industry, still included the traditional names. 
In post-World War II publications of this directory and in other Soviet cookery books, such as Cookery 1955, the Kiev style name was retained, but the terms Devolail and a la Marekel were indeed dropped in favor of simple names such as chicken cutlet stuffed with milk sauce and chicken cutlet stuffed with liver. As a result of this policy, the names Devolail and a la Marekel disappeared from menus of Soviet restaurants. The old style name, Cutlet de Volail Kiev style, was occasionally mentioned in some post World War II Soviet fiction books. In particular, in a short story This Is Not Written in a Cookbook 1947, by Yevgeny Brovyov, a Soviet soldier and a former chef in a Moscow noble hotel explains to his comrade in arms that cutlets de volail are made for two tastes. There are cutlets de volail Kiev style and cutlets de volail jardinier. In Poland, the name cutlet de volail is used until today for chicken Kiev. Mentions of chicken Kiev are also found in U.S. newspapers starting from 1937. The reports describe the Russian-style restaurant Yar in Chicago serving this dish. The restaurant existed until 1951 and was run by Vladimir Yashenko, a former colonel of the Imperial Russian Army. It was styled after the famous eponymous Moscow restaurant and was frequented by celebrities of that time. After World War II, U.S. newspapers mentioned Chicken Kiev served in New York restaurants. Recipes for a chicken cutlet a la Kiev were published in the New York Times in 1946 and in Gourmet Magazine in 1948. Since the end of the 1940s or beginning of the 1950s, chicken Kiev became a standard fare in Soviet high class restaurants, in particular in the intourist hotel chain serving foreign tourists. Tourist booklets warned the diners of the danger it presented to their clothing. At the same time, the popularity of this dish grew in the U.S. According to Dara Goldstein chicken Kiev became a symbol of Russian oat cuisine. Variants chicken Kiev is made from a boned and skinned breast which is cut lengthwise, pounded and stuffed with butter. Western recipes usually call for garlic butter, while in Russian ones regular butter is used. Herbs parsley and dill, can be added to the butter. In some American recipes butter is replaced by blue cheese. In the classical preparation of French cotelettes de volaille, the humorous bone of the wing is left attached. This also holds for their Russian versions and in particular for chicken Kiev. For serving, the bone is usually covered with a frilled paper napkin. However, industrially produced pure fillets are often used nowadays, and the cutlets are served without the bone. This is the usual way of serving chicken Kiev in the U.S. A spherically shaped version was developed by English chef Jesse Dunford Wood. Convenience food In the middle of the 20th century, semi-processed ground meat cutlets were introduced in the USSR. Colloquially known as Mikoyan cutlets named after Soviet politician Anastas Mikoyan, these were cheap pork or beef cutlet-shaped patties which resembled industrially produced American beef burgers. Some varieties bore names of well-known Russian restaurant dishes but they had little in common with the original dishes. In particular, a variety of a pork patty was called Kiev cutlet. Since the late Soviet times, real chicken Kiev cutlets have been offered in Russia as convenience food. Introduced in Britain during 1976, chicken Kiev was Marks and Spencer Company's first ready-made meal. It remains popular in the UK, being readily available in supermarkets and served in some restaurant chains. Due to its popularity, it is included in the UK Inflation Basket which is composed by the Office for National Statistics for calculations of the consumer price inflation indices. The wide popularity of chicken Kiev as a pre-packaged meal led to the term Kiev being applied to various stuffed chicken dishes, such as leek and bacon Kiev or cheese and ham Kiev the latter term replacing chicken cordon bleu. Vegetarian Kievs were introduced in the UK in the 1990s, and are popular vegetarian convenience foods. Similar dishes among other entrees similar to chicken Kiev, the aforementioned chicken cordon bleu with a cheese and ham filling instead of butter is particularly popular in the West. The recipe of Karadardeva snikla, a Serbian breaded veal or pork cutlet, was inspired by chicken Kiev. Cultural references Chicken Kiev is the name used by William Sapphire for a speech made in Kiev during August 1991 by then U.S. President George H. W. Bush cautioning Ukrainians against "...suicidal nationalism". 
See also Breaded cutlet Catellet List of Russian dishes References and notes Sources P. V. Abacharov et al., 1955 M. O. Lifshich ed. Culinaria. Moskva Gastorgas dat Ministerstvo Pizavoy Promyslenosti SSSR P. B. Abacharov, et al., 1955. M. O. Lifshitz, ed. Cookery, in Russian. Moscow, Gastorgas dat, USSR Ministry of Food Industry Pelagia Pavlovna Aleksandrova Ignadiva 1909 Praktichesky Osnovi Kulinernogo, Sankt Petersburg, Pelagia Alexandrova Ignatieva, 1909. The Practical Fundamentals of the Cookery Art in Russian. Saint Petersburg. Asland, Anders, March 2009. How Ukraine became a market economy and democracy. Peterson Institute for International Economics. Arkadij Averchenko 1914, Zensina v. Restorane, Sankt Peterburg Novij Satirikon, Arkady Averchenko, 1914, A Woman in a Restaurant, in Russian. Saint Petersburg, Novi Satirikon. John Ida, 2012. The Diner's Dictionary, Word Origins of Food and Drink. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-199-64024-9. Niga o Vikusnoj Izadorovoy Peace in Russian, Moskva Pisapromizdat Food Industry Publishing House, 1952. English translation, The Book of Tasty and Healthy Food. Translated by Boris Ushumersky. Skypeak Publishing, 1912. ISBN 978-0615691350. Mikhail Bulgakov, 1928-1940. The Master and Margarita. Moscow, Moskva, first publication 1966-67. Marion Burroughs, the 14th of August 1988. Fair of the Country: Further Tribulations of the Chicken from Kiev. The New York Times. Alexander Bilinov 1959. DP-3. Moskva Molodá Gavardia. Alexander Bilinov 1959. Password. DP3. In Russian. Moscow, Molodaya Gavardia. Marie Antonin Kermi, Armand Plumery, Charles Frederick Alfred Fayette, 1847, L. Art de la cuisine francaise au dix neuvième siècle, traite alimentaire et prique in French, 4. Entrees Chads. Work completed after Kermi's death by Armand Plumery. A line o type or two. Chicago Daily Tribune, the 26th of November 1937. P. 10. Chefs reveal a fondness for plain dishes. Chicago Daily Tribune, the 16th of March 1939. P. 18. Yar restaurant owner reports he's bankrupt. Chicago Daily Tribune, the 6th of January 1951. P. 9. Yushchenko, 71, dies, owner of Yar in 1930s. Chicago Tribune, 7 November 1968. P. B. 23. Felicity Cloak, 7 June 2012. How to Cook the Perfect Chicken Kiev. The Guardian. Kulinernij Spornik, Moskva Zernal de la Hozek, 1915, Cookery Digest, in Russian. Moscow, Journal for Housewives. 1915 Cracknell, H. L., Kaufman, R. J., 1999. Practical Professional Cookery. Cengage Learning EMEA. ISBN 978-1-86152-873-5. Nachna Iseldovatelskai Institute Torgovli i Obsestvenogo Pitania 1940. Spornik Raskladok de la Predpriotage Obsestvenogo Pitania. Moskva Gastorgas dat Research Institute of Trade and Catering of the Ministry of Trade of the USSR. 1940. Directory of Apportionments for Catering. In Russian. Moscow, Gastorgas dat Publishing House of the State Ministry of Trade. Nachna Iseldovatelskai Institute Torgovli i Obsestvenogo Pitania 1980. 
Spornik Receptor Blood I Kulinernai Isdelage de la Predpriadage Obsestvenogo Moskva Gastorgas Dat Research Institute of Trade and Catering of the Ministry of Trade of the USSR 1980. Directory of Recipes and Culinary Products for Catering in Russian. Moscow, Gastorgas Dat, Publishing House of the State Ministry of Trade, Unusual Dishes from Cerniki to Blinis Discovered by Food Expert on Recent Trip, 1. The Dallas Morning News, 25 February 1938. p. 10. Velimir Dehanovic, of June 2004. Odlikavau Sniklu Karadurdbu. Politika, in Serbian. Urbain du Bois, 1868. La cuisine classique, etudes pre ex, raisonnés et demonstratives de l'école française appliquée au service à la Russe, in French, 3 ed. e dentu. Larry Elliott, 13 March 2012. Inflation – Shopping Basket – Includes Tablet Computers and Twilight. The Guardian. Auguste Escoffier, 1907. A Guide to Modern Cookery. London, W. Heinemann. Charles Elmay Francatelli, 1859. The Modern Cook, reprinted by Applewood Books, 2008. Product of enormi obidov adelni blood i prosi izdelage obsestveni stolovi raskladki Moskva pivo tovarizistvo narpit 1928. Ration standards, apportionments for dinners, separate dishes and other products of public catering, in Russian. Moscow, Narpit, State Organization for Public Catering, 1928, Dara Goldstein, 1999. A Taste of Russia, a Cookbook of Russian Hospitality. Russian Information Service. ISBN 978-1-88010-042-4. Dara Goldstein, October 1995. Russia, Kermi, and the Culinary Arts. The Slavonic and East European Review. The Modern Humanities Research Association and University College London, School of Slavonic and East European Studies. 73 691–715. JSTOR 4211935. Chicken Cutlet a la Kiev. Gourmet. Condé Nast. July 1948. p. 59. Amanda Hesser, 2010. The Essential New York Times Cookbook, Classic Recipes for a New Century. W. W. Norton & Company. ISBN 978-0-39324-767-1. B. D. Korostisevskij K. I. Livitskij N. P. Siplenkov G. F. Sorin 1955. Organizatia predpriadage obsestvenogo pitania. Moskva Gastorgas dat ministerstvo pisevoi promyslenosti SSSR V. D. Korostisevsky, K. I. Livitsky, N. P. Siplenkov G. F. Sorin The Organization of Foodservice, in Russian. Moscow, Gastorgazdat, USSR Ministry of Food Industry, Leto, Mario Jack, Bode, Willy Karl Heinrich, 2006. The Larder Chef. Routledge. ISBN 978-0-75066-899-6. Jeremy McVeigh, 2008. International Cuisine. Cengage Learning. ISBN 978-1-41804-965-2. Fela Maj, the 5th of December 1997. Neprostitalna na oplasnost. Z N Ua Zerkala Ukraina Felia May, the 5th of December 1997. Unforgivable mistake in Russian. Z N Ua N N Maslov 1911. Kalinar. Sankt Petersburg V I Gabinskij N N Maslov 1911. The Cook in Russian. Saint Petersburg V I Gabinsky Adolf Meyer 1903. The Postgraduate Cookery Book. New York, Caterer Pub. Co. Martin Miller Yiani, 2011. 100 Essential Recipes from Bulgaria. Lulu.com. ISBN 978-1-44675-384-2. Elena Malahevic, 1861. Podorok Molodim Hazikam in Russian. Sankt Petersburg. A Gift to Young Housewives, English Translation. Joyce Stetson Tumra, 1998. Classic Russian Cooking, Elena Molikovets A Gift to Young Housewives. Indiana University Press. ISBN 978-0-253-21210-8. Moran, Joe, 24 January 2005. Hum, ping, rip the sounds of cooking. New Statesman. Retrieved 4 September 2008. Jane Nickerson, 6 August 1946. News of the Food, Chefs Challenges Housewives, Says Few Know How to Do Chicken Kiev". The New York Times. 
Bilim Polevkin 2006. Kulinernij Slavar. Moskva Centerpolygraph. ISBN 5227-00460-9. William Pokliovkin 2006. Dictionary of Cookery in Russian. Moscow, Centerpolygraph. Bilim Polevkin 2004. Nationalny Kuni Nasa Naradov, PDF. Moskva Centpolygraph. ISBN 5 9524 2004. National Cuisines of Our Peoples, in Russian. Moscow, Centerpolygraph. Bilim Polevkin, 4 May 1997. Strelowski Kotleti. Ogonik. Moskva. Archived from the original on 28 September 2011, William Pokliovkin 1997. Popping Cutlets. Ogonyak, in Russian. Moscow. June Provines, 6 October 1939. Front Views and Profiles. Chicago Daily Tribune. p. 28. Kate Salter, 10 October 2010. Kathy Chapman, the woman who changed the way we eat. The Telegraph. Andrew F. Smith, ed. 2004. Oxford Encyclopedia of Food and Drink in America, 2. New York, Oxford University Press. Fedor Sologov 1997, Stihovrini 1926 g. I Poradisti I Gordy. Nizdanij Fedor Sologov Fyodor Sologov 1997, a poem written in 1926. High bred and proud. Unpublished Fyodor Sologov in Russian. Fyodor Stepan 1947. und Unverganglichs in German 1. Munich, Kosel Verlag. Faith Stewart Gordon and Nika Hazelton 1981. Russian Tea Room Cookbook. Richard Merrick Publishers. ISBN 978-0399-01287. Robert Stribel, Maria Stribel 2005. Polish Heritage Cookery. Hippocrene Books. ISBN 978-0781811248. Malcolm Summers 2015. A Biography of Nicholas Appert 1749-1841. Downs Way Publishing. ISBN 978-0992751524. Marikale, à la. Le Glossaire des Termes de Cuisine, in French. Supertoinette.com. Pavel Sutkin Olga Sutkina 2015. Nepridumana Istoria Ruskij Kuni. Astral. ISBN 978-5-45717-598-3. Pavel Syatkin, Olga Syatkina 2015. Uninvented History of Russian Cuisine, in Russian. Astral. Henry Tanner, the 15th of November 1964. Others come and go. McCoyan remains. The New York Times. Retrieved 10 February 2015. Charles Vincent, 2004. Vincent's French Food Dictionary. Harriman House Limited. ISBN 978-1-897597-48-4. Ann Volok, 1983. The Art of Russian Cuisine. New York, Macmillan. Evgeny Dvorobev, 1947. Adigo net v povarenoj nige. Odnopolkane raskazi. Bono is dotlstvo ministerstvo voruzanai sil SSSR Yevgeny Vrubiov. 1947. This is not written in a cookbook. Companions in Arms, in Russian. Moscow, Bonazdat, Publishing House of the USSR Ministry of Armed Forces. Marcus Warren, the 19th of June 2001. Email from Ukraine. Electronic Telegraph. News of Capital Night Clubs. The Washington Post, the 26th of October 1938. P. X. 16. Bush Senior clarifies Chicken Kiev speech. The Washington Times, the 24th of May 2004. Retrieved the 4th of September 2008. Alexander Watt, 2014. Paris Bistro Cookery. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-317-84617-8.
David T. Zabetsky, ed. 2015, 1999. World War II in Europe, an Encyclopedia. Routledge. ISBN 978-1-135-81242-3.